Your sports day, the Monopoly game at Maccas is making one in five peelers a winner. And uh, someone else who looks like he might end up a winner is Adam Tomlinson, new Melbourne recruit. He's come to a new club. Uh, he wanted to have a fresh start and uh, he's getting exactly that. Adam, welcome to you. Great to have you on the program. No, thank you very much for having me, guys. Appreciate it. It straightened me out, though, if you, if you want to. How did it all unfold? Did you want a fresh start? Is that what was on your agenda? And was it always Melbourne that was a priority? No, uh, it's it's been sort of in the pipeline. Not for a little bit, man. I've had some really good conversations with the Giants in Sydney sort of the past month. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, we, we came to the decision that was probably the best thing for me and... and my footy to sort of get a fresh start and uh, yeah, Melbourne was uh, a really good option. They they presented to me uh, the characteristics of the club sort of aligned with what, what I wanted to, to be with and uh, yeah, it was a really good fit. You're an inaugural member of the Giants. Adam, was it hard to leave? Was it Were they pulling on the heartstrings at all to have you stay or was it a mutual parting in the end? Oh, oh. I mean, it was a bit of a mutual parting, but if you, I think it's been floating around the speech I gave at the uh, <laughs> Best and Fairest the other night. I uh, cried a fair bit. So, um, I mean, the Giants has been a massive part of my life for the last eight years, and I couldn't thank them enough for what they've done for me on and off the field and, and the way they developed me as a person. And um, I'm mean, very excited for what's to come, but uh, no, it was with a heavy heart to leave. And did, who did... else was in the running to get your services? Uh, I spoke to a few clubs, um, St Kilda obviously and uh, Western Bulldogs, but um, I mean, I've been pretty happy with uh, the Demons for a while and uh, I mean, I've uh, spoken to Goody for a while, I've known him for a fair while and um, he's been really good to me and uh, yeah, we get on really well and he's been awesome to uh, chat with. Has he described what kind of role you'll be slotting into at Melbourne, Adam? Uh, a little bit in the midfield and possibly up forward, but um, I mean, it's sort of been hard to chat sort of after the last month because we're still playing football. So, uh, but it, but he's really keen for me to keep playing through the midfield and developing there. Does it still hurt what happened uh, a week ago, Saturday? Yeah, it does. I mean, it was a, a phenomenal experience in the grand final week, and uh, it's something you dream of as a, as a kid. And um, yeah, the, the game went in a flash because uh, all of a sudden we're five goals down and sort of chasing our tails. And, it um yeah it hurt hurts it's only nine days later and it, um yeah it goes by pretty quick but it's one thing I'll never forget. And the Jeremy Cameron talk we keep hearing from in Melbourne uh, is it all a load of garbage? Is he happy up there? How how do you see Jeremy Cameron and his long term future? Oh, I can't see him being with the Giants. I mean the man absolutely loves Sydney. He uh, he spends more time with his boat fishing than actually on on, on dry <laughs> land. So. Um, I honestly can't say can't say him uh, leaving. He's a, a massive part of the football club, and um, if you don't know him, he's the nicest person. And uh, yeah, there's no way I can see him playing footy anywhere else. Well, at least it clarifies it in our mind, uh, Adam. Uh, and appreciate your sincerity. Good luck with the demons. Hopefully, you can help them rise back up. Well, they can't go much further down. Though. Let's hope they rise back up next year with you. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Adam, on, Adam Thomas, I keep forgetting they finished second last. It's just it's still it's bizarre still, to me. It is still hard to believe. And I, I think the projections of them, some people are saying, oh, yeah, they can bounce back easily into the top four. I don't think it's going to be that easy mm. for the Demons to bounce back into the top four after some of the performance they left out on the park this yeah, past year. Might have been a little easier had they got picked two in the draft, but they ended up not getting picked two in the draft. And we know 